hello everybody let's talk about the dynamic range what is dynamic range and where we need to use the dynamic range keep in mind if you want to compress your picture to have only the strong echoes and not receive the weak echoes so you actually you want your picture to be black in white only so on that case we decrease our dynamic range your image only made of strong echoes or no echoes so this is always we use it for the fluid filled structures those structures which are fluid filled and they will we we are we want to look for the borders of that structures so actually we do not need to see the fluid inside it can be a simple cyst it can be urine it can be gallbladder like a bile or it can be blood vessels chambers of the heart or any others so keep in mind if you really want to have the best image quality for your uh, imaging for any fluid filled structures so please don't forget uh, only select low dynamic range for them so your contrast will increase so that's another thing that your image will have high contrast on that case. that may help you maybe in uh, national or international examinations or maybe uh, somewhere an interview so please remember the lower the contrast the higher the dynamic range the higher the contrast uh, resolution the lower the dynamic range should be take care thank you